Hi, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Microsoft just announced that you can now sync your data from your Microsoft Forms live into an Excel file. Let me show you two ways how to do that. One is the older way and two is the second way that Microsoft, as I said, just announced. If you like the video, please make sure that you give me a thumbs up and that you subscribe to the channel. Have fun. Okay, so the first way is, of course, you can go to the forms.office.com website and then you can start creating here a new form the data that you collect are landing here in the form site and then you can export an excel file and from there on you can do whatever you want with that um, another way that we've seen it multiple times is also that you can uh, automate with power automate and then put the data in many different storage places but today is about two ways that uh, we haven't spoken about in this channel and one of them is the newest that Microsoft just announced. Let's see uh, when you click new form here. Let's not make it uh, fancy, but let's call this test uh, form one and then add here a question, question one. And then um, that that's, should be sufficient. Let's say here preview and I'm going to submit one time and then go back and then here we have the responsiveness. So this is the new uh, in preview feature that Microsoft just announced so that you can sync the results to Excel for the web automatically and analyze with more detail and flexibility. Uh, we now have the option here to download a copy of this or to open these results in Excel. And this will create a live connection to our personal OneDrive. We can see it here and we have the results here. So the nice thing about this is that if I go in uh, preview mode, let's make it like that. If I go again in preview mode and then answer this form again, this will automatically pop up here. It's very fast, it works amazing. So uh, let's do it a couple of times again. And you see it's almost instant. So this is a really nice feature if you want to live keep track of your responses. But there was also another way, which was, in my opinion, very similar. So the only difference that I see here is the fact that this is stored in your personal OneDrive. And I think it's a bit faster. So what I mean is if we go to a SharePoint site, you have the option here in the, uh, and in a document library, of course, you have the option here to click new and then save forms for Excel. And let's give you this a test a name here, test and click create. And this will uh, open a new form called, you know, the name that we just gave. And let's create here that first question, question one. And if we go now back to that library where we started from, we have here this Excel file. So let's bring this Excel file in here and go back to this new form that we just created and then say preview and then let's answer that. So if I click submit, this one now is uh, saved in my sites project management and it's, which is my library. So this is also a live connection, but as you can see, it's not, let's go here. It's not that fast or maybe I was in the wrong uh, page here. Let's remove this sheet one. Let's skip this form one. So let's do it again. So submit another response. This is number two. And let's see how fast it will pop up here. There it is. Let's click another response again, the first one. And let's see. It took a couple of seconds length longer, but I don't think that this is much of an issue. Let's test the other one again. We were here, submit another response, question one. This is almost instant. Now this is pretty cool actually. But I, the only difference that I see is that the new version or the new feature is saved in my personal OneDrive and it's a bit faster. But that other option that we had here for a long time is almost as good and it's also saved in a, in a storage where other people uh, can also access it if they have access to that. So. My opinion to this is that um, I like these live features, uh, live data features, of course, but uh, I don't see the point to be honest. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think. I'm uh, really uh, 
interested to know that. So write in the comments what you think. Why is Microsoft showing this option now? Uh, what's what's the benefit? What's the um, what what you can do more with it than with the older version or with the older uh, feature? So um, yeah, let me know your opinion. That's it for today. A really short one. I just want to show you this new feature on Microsoft Forms, and I'm eager to know your opinion on this. Let me know. And thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye.